a cuboid of dimension 2L, 2L and L, a charge Q is placed at the center of surface S having area of 4L square. So here I have this cuboid, right? And uh, at the center of the surface, right? Now which surface? The surface having area 4L square. So this is the cuboid having one side here 2L, another side 2L, right? So this side which is going into this plane is 2L and the side uh, which is vertical, this side is L. Okay, this vertical side is L. So which face has area 4L square? So this is 2L, this is 2L. Okay, so this is 2L into 2L, 4L square. So this surface, bottom surface and the upper surface has area 4L square. So let us assume I am putting this charge at this surface, top surface. Now we have to find the flux through the opposite surface. So we have to find the flux through this surface, right? So if I place charge to the top surface, I have, I have to find the flux through the bottom surface. Now let us assume I am converting this cuboid into a cube of side 2L. Okay, this is what I have shown here. So here we have cube whose sides are 2L. Now, when I convert this cuboid into a cube, then the charge is now at the center of a cube, right? This charge Q is at the center of the cube having side 2L. Now the flux through the cube of side 2L is given by equation Q by epsilon naught. So here it is Q by epsilon naught. Now what is happening here? The electric flux is divided among the six surfaces of this cube. So here we have surface number one here, then we have surface number two, then surface number three, then surface number four, then five and six. So we have six surfaces of the cube. So for this cube, this surface is one of the surface. For this cube, this surface is one of the surface. So this surface is the part of a cube. So if the flux through the cube is q by epsilon naught, then through each surface is q by 6 epsilon naught because this uh, flux is divided among 6 surfaces. Okay, so the correct answer is q by 6 epsilon naught.